Do you know what's the scariest part of moving to Switzerland? Getting one of these bad boys in your post box. Hey, my name is Van der Puchert and I believe that most of the world's problems, even scary windowed envelopes like these, are just interesting design challenges in disguise. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about visual frameworks, an awesome way to visualize and articulate your way through scary challenges like these. Now, when I get one of these envelopes, it's usually when it's closed that it offers the most challenging situations. Only when I crack it open and I visualize the problem that I can make some plans on how I'm gonna pay this off and then move forward towards buying my next design tool. Jokes aside, videos about how this framework can help you articulate and visualize the challenges that you are facing. This is a toolkit authored by Dave Gray, a guy who founded Explain, a brilliant agency in its own right, but then also author of a couple of really interesting books, one of which is Game Storming, uh, a playbook for innovators, rule breaker, breakers, and change makers. This is the first edition, and you can see it's quite worn, and I understand that they're working on the second edition of this book. So definitely, if you're in the facilitation or collaboration space, something that should be on your bookshelf. Now, the video is not about books, it's about the successful Kickstarter campaign and the creation of the Visual Frameworks codec. Inside this solid, really nice box, you'll find a set of cards, uh, and frameworks. First, you have a few compositioning cards about Dave and about the usage of visual frameworks. And then lo and behold, you have a set of a hundred frameworks. And if you note, like the first one here, for example, Stepping Stones, they are just beautifully illustrated drawings. You have Storyboard over here, for example, Switch, Tetris, Tightrope, Timeline, I can go on and on and on. Furthermore, you have a set of seven cards unpacking how you can use this tool set. Now, um, I just wanna quickly, before we go into who, what, why, when, uh, talk about one of these cards. Now, if you look at the card nice and closely here, they all kind of take on the same format. Very simple, well thought out diagram or visualization of a specific framework. So here you have tipping point. It also has a little bit of a code here. So this is called core 51. I'll get to that in a second. And then also a link off to the visualframeworks.com website. At the back, all of the cards have this consistent kind of visualization logo here at the back. So it only uses the one side of the card, good quality card in itself. Now I wanna mention that um, the big idea of this card deck if you look at these drawings, it's not really to kind of sell you on different frameworks or teach you about frameworks. A lot of time, it's really about how you interpret them. And I must be honest, like I really love frameworks, but I don't know a hundred of them. But I've gone through the card deck a couple of times and just by looking at the drawing, you start to understand what this is about. However, if you're a stickler for the details, you can go through to the Visual Frameworks website where you can purchase the card deck, of course, but all the frameworks are available there. You can browse them, you can dive deeper, you can get a better understanding for each of the frameworks that is outlined in the set of cards. In a lot of the cases, in the use cases for this card set, you need a bit of space. You want to kind of spread the cards out and want people to explore them. And in this specific case, I think it's really interesting to actually have access also to the digital version of Visual Frameworks. They are available on the website in the digital format. In fact, I use them in Mural. That being said, who is this for and what can you do with this? The first kind of role that popped into my mind when I first started looking at this is that I thought this would be a brilliant coaching tool. One of the things that I usually face when coaching is that I need to keep my big flap trap shut and help or allow someone else to explore a space and kind of articulate the challenges that they are facing. And I think this is a great card deck that'll help me keep my mouth closed and also help people explain and kind of share how they are facing or seeing their problems. Because sometimes describing the challenge you're facing is the hardest part and this helps you visualize that. So for coaches, team leaders, strategy folks, and if you're just a geek around frameworks, because remember you can go check out the frameworks on the website, definitely a card set for you to explore. Now, how do you use it? What, what can you do with this? Now, I mentioned that there's about seven exercises. You can come up with many yourself. I'm sure you have your, your brain on fire if you're keen on this kind of stuff. But one of the exercises is called uh, Icebreaker. And the way you would use it is that you will have this all spread out. Maybe your team way, team members come in and they each grab one of the cards and you say, listen, based on the framework that you have in your hand, talk 
to me about uh, uh, kind of not necessarily a challenge, but what you're currently working on. So for, for, for this one, it's like cutaway view is that, hey, I'm kind of like really looking at my projects at the moment, looking at the detail and getting it to the nuts and bolts and solving X, Y, and Z. So you can go through team members actually doing that. The one that I am using at the moment is um, framework a day or kind of daily framework is that um, I just grab, because I'm a bit of a framework geek, is I just grab a framework, look at this, for example, a sailboat's quite well known, and then just go and look at on the website sometimes or look at other reference points of how to use this framework, where is it most relevant, because um, not all frameworks work for everything, right? So um, definitely a great way to kind of deep dive into the framework space and visualizing challenges. Now, that being said, uh, I want to demo one example of how this can be used um, and how I've used this in the past. And for that, because I don't have a lot of space here, I'm going to jump into Mural and then talk you through a, a quick example, very fast use case of how to use visual frameworks. Now, if you want to make sense of a specific situation, the yes, no story activity might be the right one for you, according to Dave. So here you have all the frameworks. You can see um, you have to kick off with setting a situation. So in this case, I just grabbed one of the recent issues that I was working on. So how might we create a workspace that supports and enhances collaboration for both remote and in-office members. Now you'll see here, and I need to note that all 100 of the actual frameworks are now here in the digital space. You'll notice that, for example, here is predicaments in these processes that they are categorized. These aren't necessarily fixed categorizations. You can categorize them the way you want. Now the first thing that you want to do in this yes, no story activity is think about the challenge you're facing and then just grab a couple of frameworks that you think could tell the story, for example. So I believe that when it comes to um, remote and in-office, pains and gains might be a framework that I would have to use to explore. There might be a bottleneck due to technology and all these kind of things that could stop things from happening or perhaps management forcing people to be in office. Maybe it's a black hole because of cultural challenges. Or if I look at this issue, it sounds very easy. There's kind of the whole iceberg model comes to, to mind here. Now you can see this is only the first step and there's a couple of frameworks that kind of aligns with the challenge that I'm facing. Now I'm gonna fast forward here, but you wanna repeat this for all the categories. Think about the challenge you're facing and then grab the framework that you think resonates the most with this challenge. Cool, so now I've gone through the first two steps. I have to find the problem, I've grabbed a bunch of frameworks that I think might be relevant to this problem's definition, and now I have them all together in a little bundle. The final step is to actually derive some kind of narrative. I need to tell a story, kind of as a quick step, I'm not gonna go into detail. Of course, there's a lot of pains that is being kind of highlighted, but we haven't really identified or kind of unpacked what kind of gains we can see as an organization. There's tons of bottlenecks, so if I look at meetings happening now, um, we are not very efficient. You know, hybrid work is an awesome buzzword, but we haven't really looked at cultural shift, IT, and of course we are potentially running out of time. We don't have a lot of time left to do this. It needs to happen fast, blah, blah, blah. I can continue on like this. You can see how this can actually help me then derive some kind of narrative. And then of course, what I can do after this is grab this and then take some of the frameworks and potentially start addressing some of the issues. And I think just by exploring this, I've already started thinking about my specific problem in a little bit of a different way. So hopefully this activity gives you a, a bit of a taste of how awesome this can be. And trust me, when you spread out all those cards and you get into the physical space, that in itself is also really exciting, but it works really well here in the digital space. There you have it, worth every franc I spent on it and potential windowed envelopes that might come because of it. Jokes aside, um, lots of support here. This is only the core deck. A lot of frameworks will be released. Apparently the community will also be built around it. So uh, definitely looking forward to more from this. Um, available at visualframeworks.com, both the physical and digital versions of this. You can also buy this on Deckable if you so wish. Definitely something cool uh, to go and check out. But then as I put this down and close this video down, I would love to know how you would use this. What would you do with visual frameworks in your hands? Then as always, thanks for watching and catch you in the comments.